So in today's lesson, we're going to talk about purchasing a used vehicle. So when purchasing a used vehicle, you need to understand what deductions need to come off when you're looking at the cost of that vehicle by wear and tear on the car. We'll also look at some option prices that will be included if your vehicle had, had option packages added on. So what people usually, what dealers usually, usually use is called a Kelly Blue Book. And a Kelly Blue Book, or something similar to that, is a used vehicle guide. And it's published, and it will come out and it'll explain what the value of your vehicle is. Now that's based off of the condition of that vehicle and the options that get added onto it. So let's look at how to calculate the retail price. Now the retail price, as opposed to the wholesale price, is the price that if you went to a lot to purchase a used vehicle, you pay the retail price. Now what you'll look at is the average retail value that comes from those companies like Kelly Blue Book. Plus you'll add on any additions. So if you had a wheel upgrade or leather seats or air conditioning or power seats, you would add all of the options to that average retail value. You'll subtract any option deductions. For instance, if you have a manual, transmission, man, a manual transmission versus a power transmission. And you're gonna also subtract any mileage deduction along the way. So if you have high miles on your vehicle, that will deduct from the average retail value. So let's look at Samantha. So she wants to purchase a four-year-old V6 four-door sedan. It has 72,345 miles on it, and it has power mirrors, front bucket seats, and a manual transmission. So that's gonna be a deduction in our cost. It says use this table below to find the average retail price. So to calculate that average retail price, I'm going to look at the price that the vehicle says. So we're looking in this column here for the four-door sedan. So it says that it's going to cost us $15,500. Now this is what the Kelly Blue Book price would look like. You'd look up that average price. Then you add on your options to the price. So it looks like it has power mirrors. So we'll add 250 to that price. It has front bucket seats, so we're going to add $220 to that price, but it has a manual transmission instead of an automatic. So what we're going to need to do is deduct. So we're going to take off $650 for the manual transmission. Now we'll look up this mileage on our mileage chart. So the mileage is between seventy dollars and 80000 so the higher the mileage, the more you deduct. So we'll have to deduct $1,775 from that average retail price. That takes us to a price of $13,545. So that's what you should expect to pay, or that's what Samantha should expect to pay for that vehicle. All right, so I'll look in the book at concept check number one. And this is just another example. So this is find the average retail price for a four-year-old V6 four-door sedan. So we're going to start at 15500 again. Average price. So the vehicle or the Kelly Blue Book says that it's worth 15500 Now the options that come with this is air conditioning. So we don't have to deduct anything because it does have air conditioning. It has power mirrors, so we're going to add 250. It has leather seats at 240. It has a power sunroof, so we'll add 475. And it has aluminum wheels, so we'll add $120. Now, once we do that, we need to also calculate the mileage. And the mileage is 42,510. So that means that we will deduct $175 off the value of that vehicle. When doing so, we should expect to pay about 
$410 for that vehicle. So it's a little bit higher than the average value because of all of the options that were added on. Okay, so now let's talk about the average wholesale price. So the wholesale price is different. This is what the dealer pays for that car. So the dealer is, if you wanna trade in a car, that's what the dealer will be willing to pay you for that car. That's the wholesale price. And then what they do is they turn it, turn around and sell it at a higher retail price. And that's how they make their money. So we'll use that Kelly Blue Book to find the average wholesale value. Again, we'll add on the options, subtract the deductions, and subtract the mileage. So this formula looks almost exactly the same, except this value will be a little lower than the retail value. So let's look at our last example that comes from the book. So we want to find the average wholesale price. Again, this is going to be a little bit smaller. So we're going to be looking at these values. You can compare and see that they're a little bit lower. Used for a V6 four-door sedan. So we're going to start with the wholesale price. And that is starting at 15,000. No, I'm wrong. That is starting this time at $13,100. That's this value. Now let's add on the options. So the options here is that it has air conditioning, it has leather seats, so we're gonna add $240. It has front bucket seats for 220. It has a power moon roof for 475. And it has aluminum wheels at 120. It has 75,550 miles so that means that we're going to deduct $1,775 from the price of the vehicle. That's going to take the wholesale price down to $12,380. So that's what you should expect to get for your vehicle if you were to sell it to a dealer or trade it in at a dealership. All right, so you're going to continue to calculate some retail and wholesale price on used vehicles. Please let me know if you have any questions. I hope you have a great day.